Hey guys, Derek here with The Closet Doctor, and I've had a couple people ask me about our strapping machine, how we like that compared to shrink wrap and how, how does it handle stuff. Uh, <clears throat> we love it. It's uh, We feel it's much better than shrink wrap. Let me show you how we utilize it and what we're using it for, and then I'll show you why it's better than shrink wrap. So this is a job box that's got, this is one complete job in it, and we've got it all bundled up. All of our adjustable and fixed shelves are all, uh, bundled up here we've got a standard on how we do it but we normally wrap uh, only shelves in one section together there might be two two stacks of shelves for that section kind of depending on what we're doing but is how we wrap them if they're just shelves so in this particular one we've got a uh, fixed or a cam fitting shelf an adjustable shelf and another fixed one if it's just shelves like this we go one strap right in the middle of it and that holds very good, uh, you know, it's, it's fairly strong. You can carry it. And we've got kind of a standard that we use on how many shelves we'll put in a stack. If it has a nailer with it, so we've got two thick shelves and then we've got an, uh, one of our nailers that we add in for support. That one, we, we double strap it. Just keeps everything together a little bit better. When we first started out, we had guys that were strapping it, you know, two times here and then turning and strapping the other way. Way overkill. We found this is all we need. Cuts down on the strapping, cuts down on the, the trash uh, on, the, uh, on the job site so we can get everything into a single bucket. A lot less um, just labor involved in disposal. So it's a lot leaner process and the machine is nice and simple. Let me show you the difference now between using shrink wrap and running it through the strapping machine. So normally with shrink wrap like this, you had a whole bunch of it. Uh, I don't know if you guys run into problems with it staying on the thing, but when you're training a new guy on it, you don't need a whole lot, but it's normally what happens with somebody. We found that you need about three laps around it to three, that's about all you need, but is what we found is everybody's kind of unsure. And so they'll do four or five, depending on if they're talking, they're at six get a whole bunch wrapped on there and then we end up turning it around and then we've got you know defect we got to peel it off and we got to go through the same process again oh it broke and then get through everything here so this is normally you know sometimes you get that one guy that's just all kinds of shrink wrap uh so there's a lot of over processing there's a lot of wasted material in it there's a lot of waste that happens on the job site that you go through let me show how easy it is with the strapping machine. We're done. And so it's much quicker. It's much faster. If we have to do two of them on there, it's less easy. Now it's done. There's two of them on here. It's three to five times faster than using shrink wrap. Let me show you this real quick here, the difference between the two time-wise. So I've got this set down. Here we go. Two, three, four. I'm gonna go there. I'm gonna turn it around. Put it back down. And we're done. So that's shrink wrap. This is how it go. How fast it goes if you're running with the the strapping machine. And in the long run, it's a lot more economical because there's a lot of savings all the way through the process. So that's why we use the strap machine uh, and we feel that it's better than shrink wrap.